really, uh, I think uh, the, the, the extraordinary burden of, of the Syrian crisis, as well as any potential regional crisis, including the Iraqi situation, should be really uh, met also by the international community. I don't think it's in the interest of, of the international community uh, to have our positive and, mod uh, and moderating role compromised. So th th there should be much more international uh, assistance uh, uh, because of the uh, Syrian uh, crisis as well as any potential crisis. What are we looking at here? The destabilization of Jordan potentially as Iraq flares up? That's your biggest concern, the connection between a lack of funding and destabilization of the Jordanian people? Well, it's, um, it's a potential threat, really, uh, because it's very uncertain on how it will develop. But I think the best um, way to meet those challenges is to have your internal structure uh, on solid ground. What is the direct impact of Iraq? For example, I know oil supplies have not been coming in for the last few months. You have a near $2 billion pipeline project to go from Basra to Aqaba. These things just go on hold? Exactly. They have to go on hold uh, if the crisis develops uh, to a more serious uh, situation. And as I said, Jordan has met in the past uh, those challenges by major reforms, fiscal reforms, as well as uh, economic reforms, political reforms. We have a quite a dangerous situation, Minister, in a sense that you have Syrian refugees competing now against Jordanians for jobs, so they're undercutting salaries and competing in a case where we have youth unemployment of about 25 percent in the country. That's a dangerous mix, is it not? It strains relations with those refugees and the Jordanian people. Well, I think in general, unemployment, especially among the youth and women, uh, I think is very um, destabilizing, actually. Uh, and so this problem of unemployment in the region, actually, uh, has to be dealt with. But the capital outlays by either the United States or the European Union candidly aren't there. Do you feel let down in that way with the cash contributions? Well, we feel, yes, we are not getting uh, enough to continue to play our moderating role in the region. And really, uh, meeting the needs of all those refugees is not only a humanitarian issue. It, it, only, uh, it, it also neutralizes, I think, any extremist tendencies.